Hi, and welcome to Rubles Rambles here at the Maycomber Center. So, this Saturday night to Sunday, you have the chance to see a blue moon. So, I would say not in the traditional sense, but actually the other way is not in the traditional sense, although it has become more traditional. So, uh, let me explain what I mean by that. So, it used to be that um, a blue moon was the third full moon of a season with four full moons, which is what this one is. This spring has four full moons, and this full moon on the 21st is um, the third full moon of the spring. Uh, but in the 1940s, um, some people started saying that it's the second full moon of every month, and now that's caught on, and that's become the more popular definition. So this is the old definition. So yes, that'll be happening, and also, as you may recall from last week's ramble, if you saw it, it didn't actually say Rubles Ramble, so if you missed it, it was about the transit of Mercury and Mars's opposition, so check that out if you missed it. But, so basically, the moon, when it's full, is opposite the sun in our sky. That's why it's fully illuminated. The moon, Earth, and sun form a line. And so the same thing is happening with Mars, Earth, and the sun, because it's at opposition that night. It's actually at opposition past midnight, so it's at opposition on May 22nd. But the night of the 21st to the 22nd, or Saturday night, is the night that it's at opposition. So that means that those two will be pretty close in the sky as is shown uh, from this screenshot from the app Sky Guide, which is really good for finding your way around the night sky. As you can see, Saturn is also nearby, so the moon is very um, a very good thing to find stuff, like Mars and Saturn. Also, on the 18th, you can use the moon to find a fairly bright star called Spica, which is just a pretty cool star. It's also, um, if you find Spica on the 18th, which is this Wednesday, and then on Thursday, you look out, you can see how much the moon has moved by finding Spica where it was at the same time the previous night and the moon. Uh, so one thing I forgot to say is that for Mars um, on the, 22nd to 20, the 21st to 22nd and the moon and Saturn and that stuff, 10 o'clock should be fine to look for that stuff in the southeast. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you have any trouble finding any of this stuff or any questions, just ask and clear sky.